tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Parker? Not much to tell, really. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Joshua Freeman, and welcome back to Joshua vs. the Movies, where we react, review, and go against all your favorite movies. Today, the movie I'll be going against, standing in the blue corner, The Amazing Spider Man. The Amazing Spider Man came out in 2012 and was directed by Mark Webb. The movie serves as a reboot of the Spider Man movies, with Peter going through the same origin story again. The movie stars Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, Rise Iffen, and Dennis Leary. The movie was met with positive reviews, but we'll see just how amazing the reboot is when it goes against me. The genre of the movie will be action, while the visuals and the stunts will represent how well the visual effects look throughout the movie. If you guys have any questions on scoring template for each category, it will be in the description below. But I think we're all set, so without further ado, let's get to the review. Fight. Round 1. Ready or not, here I come. You're gonna stay with that man, and Uncle Ben, for a little while. I want to go with you. Come on, come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Morning, Flash. Parker. Yes, sir. You wanna keep that skateboard? Yeah. Keep it off the ground. Yeah. Wheels yeah. up. Peter's like the only good person in this fucking school. Put him down, Vlad. Eugene! Come on, get up, Parker! Who wants one more? What are you talking about? Now, Flash, how about we go to class? Hmm? How about it? Whatever. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. I'm not too fond of the movie going through Peter's origin story again, but it is good they at least included Peter's parents and made it a little different. Fight. Round two. Ben Parker, don't you even think about leaving that filthy box in my kitchen. What happened to you? It fell. Why you kids ride those things, I'll never know. Hey, where's the flood? Follow me, I'll show you. You serious? Yes. Meanwhile, you know, put this on your face. How's the other guy look? Come on, I know a right cross when I see one. No, I wouldn't tell your Aunt May. Hey, before you come up, see if there's anything else worth saving. Uh. It was your dad's. Yeah. He asked us to keep it safe for him. He asked you to keep, keep this safe? Why? There's, there, there's nothing in here. Your father was a very secretive man, Peter. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what that is? Some guy who worked with your dad, I guess. You just take this off the table, all right? We're gonna eat off. I need you to be a good boy, Peter. Where are you going? Something uh, 
Something your mom and I have to do. You look just like him. Can I come in? Yeah. I know it's been rough for you without your dad. And I know we don't talk much about them. Kurt Connors. That's the name of the guy in the picture with your dad. But after that night, we never saw him again. Go figure. Uncle Ben? Yeah. You're a pretty great dad, right? Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is a nice scene with Peter figuring out more information about his parents. <laughs> Fight! Round three. Excuse me. I'm here to see Dr. Dr. Connors. Right. You'll find yourself to the left. You are here for the internship. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You find your badge to the left. There, I got it. Okay, Mr. Guevara. Our scientific minds are pushed. Welcome to Oscorp. My name's Gwen Stacy. I'm a senior at Midtown Science, and I'm also head intern to Dr. Connors. Shall we? Good afternoon, Gwen. Dr. Connors. My name is Dr. Curtis Connors. I'm the world's foremost authority on herpetology. But like the Parkinson's patient who watches on in horror as her body slowly betrays me, I long to fix myself. I want to create a world without weakness. Cross species genetics. The person gets Parkinson's when the brain cells that produce dopamine start to disappear. I'm afraid duty calls. I'll leave you in the more than capable hands of Miss Stacy. You'd like to gather around? Hi. How are you doing, Rodrigo? I have to leave this chore group. Do not get me in trouble. I'll Stay with the group. Sorry. Yo. Someone throw this kid out. No? Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> the results from the mRNA sequences this morning they were disappointing and this is to be expected expected you said you were close we are close Norman Osborne is dying Dr. Connors we both lose our heads <laughs> give me the badge <laughs> Okay, so that's gonna be my point. This isn't a bad scene with Peter infiltrating Oscorp. It's just a plot convenience that Peter is able to get to where he wants to go because of the intern program. And even if I was to forget about the intern program, because hey, it's a big company, it could happen. The clerk at the front desk basically just let him into the building. I mean, she was basically like, you're here for the intern program, right? Right, 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 right? Say yes, say yes, say yes. <laughs> Fight. Round four.
Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is a nice transformation of Peter becoming Spider-Man and how it's a little similar to the same Raimi Spider-Man movies. <laughs> Fight! Round five. Dr. Connors. I'm sure you're a very nice young man, but this is a home. I ask you to make an appointment in my office. I'm Richard Parker's son. Peter. Thank you. I read your book. Oh. Dad, you really think it's possible across species genetics? Yes, of course. And then your father bred the spiders and everything changed. The results were beyond encouraging. They were spectacular. Then it was over. He, he was gone. Say it worked. Say so you, you, you got it to work. Like, how much would the foreign species take over? It's hard to say, considering no subject survived. The problem was always... The K-rate algorithm? Extraordinary. Peter, how would you feel about coming to see me at the tower one day after school? Yeah. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is a nice scene with Peter visiting Dr. Connors and giving him the equation he's been trying to figure out. Fight! Round six. We have protein structure, RDNA chromatography, transgenics testing, that's x-ray video. What you see here is a computer model of a lizard. Now, many of these wonderful creatures have so brilliantly adapted that they can regenerate entire limbs at will. You can imagine my envy. You need to take that. See what I'm trying to do? Preempt the protein. Preempt the immune response. Beginning trials. Pending. Fail. Pending. Fail. Subject. Ah. Deceased. Pending. Peptide algorithm accepted. Regrowth complete. And thank you. Okay. Careful. Mistake you by mistake. Human trials aren't until next week. Didn't you forget something? You owe your aunt an apology. Big time. Be a man. Get in there and apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, I may. I gotta... Honestly, you don't have to apologize to me. It's your... Hell, he doesn't. I Listen don't... to me, son. Yeah, go ahead. You're a lot like your father. But your father lived by a philosophy, a principle, really. He believed that, that if you could do good things for other people, you had a moral obligation to do those things. Responsibility. Where's my dad? He didn't think it was his responsibility to be here to tell me this himself. Oh, come on. How dare you? How dare I? How dare you? Peter, come back here, please. Peter? Peter? Uh, it's 207. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, you're holding up the line. You're gonna pay, you're holding up my line. I don't have two cents. You so can't afford didn't. your milk, just step aside. But daddy didn't give you enough milk money today? Well, I'm not cool. Buddy, stop that guy! Hey, kids, little help. Not my policy. Of course. God damn it. Come on, come on. Uncle Ben, Uncle Ben. <sighs> damn. Okay, so that's gonna be my point. This scene isn't bad at all, especially with Andrew Garfield's acting. I just don't need to see Uncle Ben murdered on screen again. Fight! Round seven. Oscorp's biocable tensile strength is unparalleled. A single pellet can safely store several hundred meters of the lightweight cable. Of 
course, nobody's on the block to see him, right? Assailant is Caucasian male, mid 30s, 170 to 180 pounds, shoulder length, blonde hair. <laughs> what are you? You a cop? Really? You seriously think I'm a cop? <laughs> mine of the true scholar, sir. I, I was there you go, you got it. Whoa. <laughs> Crouch! Just let me go. Is that a knife? Is that a real okay. knife? Yes, it's a real knife. My weakness. It's a small knife. <laughs> let me go. Oh, it's so simple. Ah. One second, one second, one second. One second. Stop, get off, man. No. <laughs> this could have gotten a lot worse. Oh! Boys in blue here! You serious? Freeze! I just did 80% of your job. Huh? But that that's how you were paying me? Finest versus one guy in a unit tart. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. I like this scene of Peter hunting for Uncle Ben's murderer and slowly becoming Spider Man. But when it comes to the directing by Mark Webb, it turns out to be really good as he does a great job incorporating good Spider Man shots throughout the movie. He also does a good job incorporating something new into the Spider Man movies, like the POV shot of Spider Man. It could have been done a little bit more in a movie, but it's still really good and pretty creative. So with that, the movie earns a 0.9 out of 1.0 for directing. Fight! Round 8. Cross species genetics is finally working. It's hard work and promise, and it's a step closer to the primate lab. Uh, but it doesn't have time for every little step. You have to start human trials. Human trials? Where on earth are you going to find the people to volunteer? I might think the Veterans Hospital is a place to start. Wow. You've got to be kidding me. It's a little late for shock and indignation, Kurt. I'll remind you what happened. Richard Parker said just about the same thing then that you are saying now. I won't. The formula is ours now anyway. I'm shutting you down. Have your office cleared out by the morning. Okay, so that's gonna be my point. This scene isn't bad with Dr. Connors being shut down and him using a formula on himself. It's just too similar to the last movie with Norman. Fight! Round 9. Will you please go and find out what's going on, Alfred? Excellent. Hold on. That's in front of you, okay? Three. Okay. One. No! Jack. Oh, God. Thank God. 
my son. Oh, my son. Who are you? Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is a cool scene on the bridge with Spider-Man saving everyone and me and Lizard. I also like the motivations for Spider-Man in this movie and how it's different from the Sam Raimi movies. I mean, in that first movie, Peter was just trying to impress MJ. And when his uncle dies, he takes on the responsibility of becoming Spider-Man. In this movie, Peter becomes Spider-Man after his uncle dies to find his killer. And then when Dr. Connors becomes the Lizard, he forgets about his uncle's killer and focuses on stopping him. I mean, I don't think it's as good as the Sam Raimi movies, but it is still good. And when it comes to the actors and the acting in the movie, they turn out to be good. Andrew Garfield ends up being a great Spider-Man and his acting as Peter Parker is really good. The only thing is, is his Peter Parker is more of a misunderstood loner rather than a nerd. And I mean, yeah, I guess it works for this movie, but it's quite possible he was pretty athletic before he got bit. I will say though, he does have some good moments as Peter. How did you come up with this? What are you doing here? I work here. I don't work here. I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say I work here, but it, it seems like you in fact do work here, so you know that I don't in fact work here. And when it comes to Emma Stone, she ends up being a standout as Gwen Stacy. Stone does a great job displaying the character and the chemistry between her and Andrew makes the movie 10 times better. My, my uncle, he, um, he's a pathological liar and he thought you were someone else. Oh, man, you don't have me on your computer. I, yeah, I mean, like I had, I took a photo of the debate team and you're in the debate team, so. Right. I, so I was touching up stuff. Touching himself. Come on. I was, I was, uh, I'm not gonna answer that. He's one of Midtown Science's best and brightest. Really? Mm. He's second in his class. Oh. Second? Yeah. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Raya's Iffin doesn't turn out to be a bad villain as Dr. Connor's lizard either. And Dennis Leary is pretty entertaining as Captain Stacy. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.9 out of 1.0 for actors and acting. Fight. Round 10. Spider-Man. Species flight distribution could, could, could enhance humanity on an evolutionary scale. I can save them! <sighs> You're not gonna get in the way of my plan, Peter Parker! <laughs> nice. I'm gonna throw you out the window now. Ah! Ow. Uh oh. Somebody's been a bad lizard. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is a dope scene with Spider-Man and Lizard fighting at Peter's high school. And when it comes to the visuals and the stunts in the movie, they turn out to be really good. And the visual effects don't turn out to be bad in the movie at all. The CGI for Lizard isn't great, but it isn't bad either. And it doesn't turn out to be bad for a superhero movie that came out in 2012. Also, the Spider-Man visuals during a fight with Lizard turns out to be really good. So with that, the movie earns a 0.5 out of 0.5 for visuals and stunts. Fight! Round 11. The creature has released a biological agent. All efforts at stopping him have failed and he is now proceeding north on 7th Avenue. Over. Hey! 
Heading south. Stand down now or we will open fire. You guys don't have anything else to worry about right now. Ooh. Yo, you got a whole full fucking fledged lizard releasing a biological toxin and across the city and you over here hunting Spider-Man. Like, what? come on now. I give a fuck about that lizard. Get the fuck on the ground now. You gotta let me go. Everybody know this man's secret identity, Dale. Hold your fire. Oh my god. I won't venture to say exactly what it is that's crawling up the north side of the Oscorp Tower, but clearly it is not human and it is very, very strong. He's gonna make it. Okay, I saved my boy on the bridge. You still friends with Matthews, that crane operator down to 6th Avenue? Yeah. Get him on the phone for me. Okay. Hey, Charlie! Give me Enriquez with 54 Street. Yeah. Angelo, get your mug over here. Spider-Man needs those big points high and lined up. Let's give him a clear approach, over. Wow. Okay, so that's going to be my point. This scene isn't bad with Spider-Man swinging to Oscorp. It's just a plot convenience of Spider-Man having to help to swing just because the one guy he saved on the bridge had connection with Cranes. But when it comes to the plot and the story, it doesn't turn out to be bad. The origin story of Spider-Man probably didn't need to be shown again because it's only slightly different from the Sam Raimi movies. But nevertheless, it's not unwatchable at all. What hinders the plot and the story though is certain plot conveniences that exist throughout the movie and how it's not much different from the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie. I mean, there's a plot convenience of Peter getting into Oscorp causing him to get bit, and Peter having to help to swing to Oscorp simply because he saved the one guy with a crane connection in the city. The best thing about the plot in the story, though, is the motivation from Dr. Connors and how Peter's dad worked with him to create the formula. But Dr. Connors using the formula on himself is a little bit too similar to the first movie as well. But like I said before, it's not unwatchable at all. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.8 out of 1.0 for plot and story. Fight! Final round, round 12. Initializing Ganali device. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, damn. Poor Peter Parker, all alone. He's not alone. Shoot him in the fucking face. Hey, guess for Gwen. Shoot him in the fucking face. Oh. Detonation in T minus eight. 
Are we up? What the fuck? Three. Two. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is a cool final battle scene with Spider-Man going against Lizard. And when it comes to the action in the movie, it turns out to be good. The movie does a good job incorporating great action between Spider-Man and Lizard throughout the movie. So with that, the movie earns a 0.5 out of 0.5 for action. So do you guys have it? That's my match against the Amazing Spider-Man. It turns out to be amazing enough as I end up losing this one. We're not done yet though. Let's go see where it fits on the scale. Let's go check out the final numbers. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to the final numbers, we have everything except for the editing and the score. There wasn't any problems in terms of the editing, so that would remain a 0 0.3 out of 0 0.3. And when it comes to the score, it doesn't turn out to be as substantial as the Danny Elfman score in the Sam Raimi trilogy. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.0 out of 0 0.2 for score. So now that we have all the numbers, let's add them up. So the movie ends up with a 3.9 out of 4.5, and that gives it an A-minus rating. So do you guys have it? That's my movie review of The Amazing Spider-Man. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, and also let me know what superhero movie you want me to go against. But until then, this is Joshua Freeman. This has been Joshua vs. The Movies. I'm going to see you guys in the next match. <laughs> it's headed to Oscorp, and your daughter's there right now. You think I give a fuck about that lizard? Get the fuck on the ground now!